that calm the storm through raging winds. I'm still secure. You sheltered the rain. You took away the pain. Jesus is the sweetest thing. And my melody is a sympathizing Jesus who understands and heals my deepest pain. And your love for me has made a change in me. Jesus is the sweetest name, the sweetest name I know. Say that part, you are. Name I know. Who knows if name is sweet? Yeah. Listen to this, goes. It's at your name that demons flee with you, oh my God. No boundaries, I'm grateful to you. Your love pulled me through. And Jesus is the sweetest name And my melody is a sympathizing Jesus Who understands and heals my deepest pain And your love for me has made a change in me Jesus is the sweetest name Stretched out his hand to save my sinking soul. And then he breathed into me new life, a joy. A joy I can't explain. And Jesus is the sweetest name. He's the sweetest name I know. Remember that's, it's a sweet, I get more warm inside, even though it's hot outside, but I think about how sweet he is. And I just want to call his name. Can I call his name today? Yeah. Let's do a little, let's do a little stuff fun. Let's go. So, he is, he is, I know that he's the sweetest name. I know he is, he is my Jesus is the sweetest name. I know he is, I know that he's the sweetest name. I know he is. He is my Jesus, is. he's the sweetest name. When I'm down and out, he is. Said I know that he is the sweetest name I know. So he is, oh my Jesus is. Say he is, he is, I know that he's the sweetest name, I know he is, he is, my Jesus is the sweetest name, I know. He's sweet, amen. He's sweet, I know. All right, about, before I start this next song, and get out of your way, about two years ago, yeah, two years ago, end of May. There's gum on the bottom of my shoe, and it's really annoying. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No. Yes. Um, two years ago, May 31st, I graduated from Oakwood, and I was on my way. I'm from Canada. I'm from Toronto, Canada. And I drove home instead of graduating, because that's when we had the storms. Graduation got pushed back, and I decided to go home instead of make all my family come down here. Went home, spent the weekend there, getting ready to drive back. It was a Tuesday night. I'm driving back about an hour from the border. It's about 11.30 at night. And sitting on cruise control, just mind my own business. Turn away, turn back. There's a deer in the road. 
And you're supposed to um, hold the steering wheel tight and hit the dare. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to swerve. You're supposed to hit it and then whatever damages, insurance will fix it. But instinctively, because I wasn't paying attention, I turned, saw something in the road, swerved. I swerved probably like two or three times, tried to get under control and I'm on cruise control. So my legs were just under the kick back in the seat, wasn't on the pedals, cruise control about 75 miles an hour and lost control, went to the middle ditch, like that was middle DD in there, went in and my car went flying through the air. I remember flipping about twice and then I blacked out. How it turns out is I ended up getting ejected from the car, ended up on the wrong side of the highway. This is 11.30, almost close to midnight on like abandoned road. This is a truck route. So this is where the trucks ride doing their routes from Canada to the US. So truck route, I'm laid out the road, unconscious, just left for dead. My car's black, lights out, so no lights, blackness, laying down the road, cold. I stripped this whole side of my face off I had two, I had a punctured lung, had two fractured ribs. I had, what's that I had? I broke some bones in my face. I broke my jaw, lost a tooth. And apparently a cop just happened to be passing by when I went flying through the air. Just happened to be passing by. <clears throat> I shouldn't be here. Come on, come on. I should, definitely shouldn't be here. I mean, it's, it's grace, it's simply grace that I'm here and from that point on it's it's been it's been interesting to see what God is trying to do in my life it's been interesting to see how he's just making a way out of no way time after time after time and I mean I've been I've gotten to the point where I've started to just say okay I'm not doing anything it's everything that you want me to do I'm going to do it's your way or the highway basically it's your way or you want to throw me out of the car again I'm going to scrape my face so I understand I, I had my fall experience where I had to be laid out flat on my back helpless and I don't want any of you to go through that. I mean, I want to be a lesson to someone else. I want to be a testimony to someone else to understand that, I mean, he loves you so much and he'll do anything to save your life. Don't let it be almost take your life to save your life. Because he'll do it, because he loves you that much. He'll put you on the brink just to save your life, just so you draw closer to him. So take the warning today and heed his warning. I mean, he, he loves us so much. I mean, I wrote a book from the experience about my whole recovery process and it's just been amazing to see how, I mean, I've done a lot of stuff in my life and to see how he can take the bad, all the bad I've done in my life and use it as like a springboard for his glory. Like the stuff that you think right now that can't be used to do anything for him, that's the stuff he's gonna use to bring someone else to Jesus. That's the stuff he's gonna use. So I encourage you to, I mean, share your story. Don't be all, don't be, yeah, tight. Don't be tight about it. I mean, you got to be free. And have, just be up there and able to speak. Talk to your neighbor. Talk to someone. And just share a story. I mean, by, you're going to have some free time today. Share a story. Share a testimony of something that's happened to you. I know there's millions of things that have happened to you. And I'm sure one will bless somebody. So can I charge you to do that today? Share a testimony with somebody today? Somebody. Somebody on this campus walking around today needs to hear about something God has done for you. And you don't even have to say God. You can say, yo, this is, something good happened to me. I don't know why it happened, but it's good. And this is what I do in my life. I mean, just be a testimony. Just let your life be an example of what he can do for you. Amen. All right, so we're going to do this next song, Get Out of Your Way. It's called I Need You. Anybody need Jesus? Yeah. This is a little summer tune. This is a song where you're riding with your drop top and just kind of chill kind of sock, you know? So let's do this song, I Need You. Seems like every day I do the same old thing I used to do when I wasn't with you. I need to turn away. I need to find my way. I need to start anew. Lord, I need you. I gotta act like you need more of me and make you a part of me. Completely, I gotta act like you mean, you mean something more. more than I felt before. I need you, I need you more. More than sunshine after summer rain. Can you sway with me? More than a sweet song in times of pain. More than a little boy does his 
www.janthonybalgin.com You can check my website, I have books, I have CDs, and we have a whole ministry where we just go, we travel, and we just tell our stories, we testify, and man, we just spread the love of God. Amen? Alright, have a good day, y'all.